I'm Courtney Silva with Stanley and Process, and I'm going to go over the horizontal and vertical sections available in both our community and enterprise editions of the Spark Toolkit. Horizontal and vertical layouts provide the majority of flow layout capabilities, and when combined together, can create very sophisticated layouts. I have here a series of vertical and horizontal layouts, and I'm going to go through the configuration options. Encasing everything is a vertical layout, and with under appearance, we have layout flow. Um, just a note on layout flow, uh, the horizontal and vertical distinction with the controls is really only for process designer. At runtime, it is the layout flow configuration option, not the type of control that determines how the content in the layout actually flows. So even though this is a vertical layout, at runtime, if I want it to be horizontal, I could change that here with the layout flow. So you also have uh, many different options. You have vertical, vertical tight, horizontal, horizontal inline scroll, horizontal tight, and horizontal auto wrap. Horizontal alignment, you can use justify, left, center, or right. Vertical alignment, you can use top, middle or bottom and width you can use px percentage or em and if no unit is specified px is assumed and also note that when you hover over the text here tooltips display helping you um, with what these are responsive you would use the this configuration uh, area if you were using a responsive sensor with either a vertical or horizontal layout. And performance, you would use these uh, configuration options if you uh, bound, if uh, the horizontal or vertical layouts were bound to a list. Events, you can use JavaScript logic to affect the effects of the control. For the horizontal and vertical uh, layouts, you can set an onload event or an on responsive update event. I have some HTML attributes here, a margin of zero and a background color. Here I have a horizontal layout. The layout flow is horizontal. The horizontal alignment is justified the vertical alignment is top. I do not have a width specified, but I do have a height of 10% specified. Also, I have some attributes here, margin of zero and a background color. And within the horizontal layout, I have a output text control. Here, I have another horizontal layout. And within this horizontal layout, I have a vertical layout, uh, actually three vertical layouts here. Okay, so the configuration op uh, options for this horizontal layout are layout flow horizontal, horizontal alignment uh, left, vertical alignment at top, a width of 100% and a height of 70%. I also have a HTML attribute with style zero, or I'm sorry, margin zero. This vertical layout configuration, uh, vertical layout flow, uh, horizontal alignment right, vertical alignment top, width of 20% and a height of 100%. I also have a margin set to zero and a background color. I have an icon within the vertical layout. And to get a full list of icons that you can use, go to fontawesome.io slash icons. And this is a full list of icons that you can use. And all you have to do is put in the, the name of the icon. I've selected an icon size of 100 here. Um, since I didn't specify a unit, PX is assumed, and the color is transparent. Within this vertical layout, I have a text area control. 
And the configuration options for this vertical layout are a layout flow vertical, horizontal alignment center, vertical alignment middle, width of 60% and a height of 100%. This vertical alignment or uh, vertical layout. I have a layout flow uh, vertical, horizontal alignment is left, vertical alignment top with 20% and a height of 100%. Um, and I don't know if I showed you, but here I also have a margin zero and background color, uh, same thing here. And I have the same type of icon here, the comment icon. Down here, I have a horizontal layout. And the configurations are layout flow horizontal, horizontal alignment justified, vertical alignment middle, uh, no width is specified, and a height of 20%. Margin zero and a background color, and I have a button inside of that um, horizontal layout. So let's play this to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the final result. Um, you can see by using a series of vertical and horizontal layouts and, um, you know, setting background colors and using some icons and, you know, pretty much the possibilities are endless. But um, the takeaway here is that you can create some pretty nice and sophisticated layouts just by using horizontal and vertical layouts. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to get more information on the Spark Toolkit. First, you want to go to salientprocess.com and then you want to select support. And then you want to select or learn more about Spark Toolkit. And this will take you to a form to fill out and someone will be in contact with you regarding the Spark Toolkit. Now, once you have access to the toolkit, you can browse the knowledge base articles that we have here. So here you'll find articles on all of the controls. And a getting started section. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.